And we are joined now by the UDM's Deputy President and Chief Whip in Parliament, Ngabayomzi Kwankwa. A very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us, Mr. Kwankwa. The UDM President, uh, while celebrating your achievements, did point out the challenges, some of which uh, he pointed to financial and human resource uh, problems. Can you just expand a little bit more on that and the cause of that? Well, financial and human resource problems center around the fact that uh, it goes back as far as the floor crossing legislation when we lost a number of seats uh, to other political parties. Uh, with those seats that went to political parties, went the budget that you actually get from Parliament and obviously uh, the IEC. We have managed to recapture some lost ground over the past couple of years from being able, in the very few instances, especially around elections, mobilize some resources from the private sector around elections that we want to deploy in party building, especially in the strongholds such as the Eastern Cape. Human resources has to do, obviously, with the fact that as a political party that has limited financial resources, some of the people with the technical expertise we require uh, in some key areas, we can't necessarily be able to afford them for instance, be able to push them, whether it's from other political parties or get them from the private sector so that we can be able to bolster our technical expertise in some areas which we consider to be focused areas. But given all of these challenges, we have decided to say by rebuilding a political party, you start with party structure. Stronghold, which is the Eastern Cape, that's why we came to the Eastern Cape to, as a show of force that we are busy reviving the party and that we've been doing a lot of work over the past five years in the Eastern Cape. And we are going to take that growth to other provinces, but uh, using the, the Eastern Cape as a base, unlike the mistake we probably made in 2019, where we thought we could grow better in other areas, and then in the process deserted or neglected the base. Mm. Uh, we have seen uh, a trend in South African politics of people joining political parties uh, because of patronage or perceived patronage. And uh, you have said as a party, and we also heard from some of your supporters, that you have been very successful in portraying yourself, modeling yourself on uh, the basis of integrity and tackling corruption. But uh, you also say that you have managed to um, maintain your interest against uh, your independence against vested interests. Can you just tell us what those vested interests are, and could it possibly be a challenge for those people who believe that joining the UDM means that they won't get uh, their seat at the feeding trough, so to speak? Well, we have. We've obviously one one of the things you have to do as a political party, once you know your values, once you know what your guiding principles are, you have to be very circumspect in how you choose the stakeholders and the people that you form relationships with, including those who would actually be willing to provide you funding. One of the things we, we, we've always done in the past is that even in the very few instances where there were people who donated, especially uh, the private sector, I think in the past the general even disclosed some of those donations which took place a long time ago that we want, we did not want we did not expect anything uh, any of those donations to come with strings attached if you want to donate because of supporting democracy and you believe in our program by all means if you think that there are things that we can do better and would, would be able to help us with the resources to do that and make suggestions about how to best implement some of the programs which would contribute to nation building by all means. But no one can come to the UDM, for example, to tell us as to what, uh, what programs we should prioritize and what we should do and what policies and policy positions we should be promoting in Parliament. Uh, our, our soul and our principles are not for sale. And I think one of the issues that we have focused on is that in the past, you would always focus on people uh, leaving other parties, coming to the UDM and other parties, especially around elections. But that is not sustainable because as soon as you do not get enough seats and people leave you, which means they, they never came to the UTM because they believe in the UTM as a political party, they probably came to the UTM with other interests. So what we are doing now and busy trying to do is to build our own... Mr. Kwankwa, are you still with us? All right, it seems like unfortunately uh, that line dropped. We'll see if we can get him back 
on Mabayomzi Kwankwa, the UDM's deputy president, as we look at the party's anniversary.